Hello YouTube, Shock16 back once again with another video. And this time it's going to be a pickups video. Pickups? I haven't done a pickups video for absolutely ages. In fact, one second, just going to check my YouTube channel. I'm actually already on my channel, so this shouldn't take long. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Fucking hell, where's the last time? About three months since I last did a pickup video, so yeah. Yeah, whatever. About three months since I last did a pickup video, so it's time I did another one actually. Um, and I've got actually got a few things to show you, so yeah. Um, been buying a few things off fellow YouTubers, well, an ex fellow YouTuber, I'll explain. Um, I got a gift from a fellow YouTuber, which was very nice. And of course, got a few Sega Saturn pickups as well, so. Um, yeah, let's crack on and I'll show you what I got. So first up, um, I brought a few items off um, Marcus, X-Files 2708, as he used to be known on the old YouTube. He packed it in, jacked it all in, um, started selling off his whole collection, which is a real shame really, because he had one of the best collections that I have ever seen. His game room was amazing. It just used to look like, it was like going in, when he used to show you like his, room tours that used to remind you of like the old days when you used to walk into a shop and you just used to see like all the games nice boxed on the shelf it was an amazing collection but yeah jacked it all in and is selling it all off so I jumped in and got a piece of the action and one of the first things that I brought was for the Sega Saturn um, Japanese Sega Saturn it's a Jap exclusive and it's racing um, Race driving. Yeah, it's a bit of glare on there actually, isn't there? Bit of reflection. Ooh. It's me within me within me. Ooh, it's shockception. Um yeah, race driving. Um based on an old arcade game. Well it's a port of an old arcade game. Like I said, Japanese exclusive. Trying to get as many Japanese exclusives as I can for the Sega Saturn. Um this one looked interesting. Doesn't look magnificent. I think Steve Benway has done a gameplay of it. So yeah, if you want to see that, check out his channel because he might still have it on there. So yeah, that was the first thing I brought off Marcus. Second thing I brought off him, and I've been trying to get one of these for ages. And Marcus had one up for a really nice price. So I had to snatch it up for my fighters. When I play my fighters, and that is the Saturn Arcade stick. Yeah. Looks a bit dark for some reason in there when I go a bit closer. I'll go a bit back, try and get as much light in there. Play with the camera. So yeah, satin stick, six buttons, arcade stick. Got your turbo buttons up here as well. Great stuff. So now when I'm playing um, stuff like X-Men, Children of the Atom, and Virtual Fighter, and Street Fighter Alpha, games like that, I can now play them with that arcade experience that I love. Joysticks are great for fighters. So, awesome times ahead. So yeah, there was off um, Marcus, like I said, X-Files 2708. He's not got his channel anymore, so I can't really shout it out. But he does have a new channel now, which is like, um, it's like a collaboration project that he's put together, which is minecraft videos it's called team minecraft i'll leave a link down in the description below so if you want to check it out if minecraft is your thing go check it out um yeah they've got some good episodes up actually there's re one really funny one and it's called it's like a revenge video watch that one that's one's really funny so yeah that's the first thing so the second thing that i want to show you is a gift off a fellow youtuber he just sent these through free of charge just sent them over to me um I basically made a comment on his video once and he, he was going on by how he had a load of Mega Drive controllers and he had shitloads of them and stuff like that and I actually made a comment saying I could actually do with a new um, Mega Drive controller <laughs> um, because I only had my Mega Drive and it only had one joypad and I kind of raged out and smashed it up so for ages now I've had a Mega Drive but no Mega Drive control pad so yeah um, that fellow YouTuber was anyway 2TUK I'm sure you all know him Stuart 2TUK if you don't again link in the description bar um, 
great all round bloke, does some great collections, um, again a great collection. Is it, I think he might be going for full Master System set, I'm not sure about that, don't quote me, he might not be, but yeah, he seems to have most of the games and I'm sure he's going for a full set. Um, yeah, all round great bloke, so yeah, free of charge, he just sent me a couple of Mega Drive joy pads across. Got the one with the grey start button there, I think that's off the Mega Drive 1 in it, and the red one, which I'm guessing is the Mega Drive 2 pad, so yeah, best of both worlds, and I've just decided that I really like the Mega Drive control pad. So yeah, that was a cool little um, freebie sent from 2 UK. Go check him out. So let's swiftly move on and I'll show you some of the pickups that I've made recently. So here we go. Five games, all for the um, PAL Sega Saturn, which now takes my PAL Sega Saturn collection up to 128 games in total. So, getting there now towards the full collection. Um, so, we'll kick it off with True Pinball. Not a very expensive game. Got this for, I don't know, about a tenner. Maybe a little bit more, including postage. Not bad, not a bad price. Sometimes goes for about £15 upward, depending on if you wait for auctions or you just go buy it now depends if you've got patience or not so yeah I got it for a decent price good nick all complete I don't know why I tell you they're all complete every game I collect for the Sega Saturn is all complete so yeah good nick um, yeah true pinball it's not false it's true ball it's true pinball not false true not false true true it's fucking true right True pinball, mate. So, yeah, um, it's pinball. <laughs> what more can you say? Love pinball, love actually playing the pinball machine. So, if I can simulate it on my tally at home, it's all winner winner chicken dinner, innit? So, true pinball. Next one <laughs> Sea Base Fishing. That's right, a fishing game. Actually, there's a sticker on the front that actually says warning. This pack contains a fishing game. This may cause narrow-mindedness in some game players. <laughs> but um, Saturn Plus gave it 87%. 87% for a fishing game. Um, yeah, I'm actually quite intrigued to play it. Screenshots. Don't even know if you can actually see the screenshots. But again, not bad, Nick. There's a bit of a... Um, like... Do you know how you get the rigid cardboard cases, you get them ridges in them. Common problem with Sega Saturn um, games in the power region. So yes, sea base fishing, fishing game. I'm just hoping it's going to be quite fun. I'm really intrigued to play it actually. This has definitely got to feature in the shocks on Saturn um, in the series just to show you what it's all about. Um, but yeah, I'm really hoping it's not like Sega base fishing that I had on the PlayStation 2 because that game was so appalling and bad that I actually gave it away free. <laughs> so yeah, um, next game, quite a more pricier game on the Power Sega Saturn, um, but a good game and that is Saturn Bomberman. Sure we all know who Bomberman is, I'm sure we've all played a Bomberman game in our time. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like anything from the normal, just looks like you Standard Bomberman game um, upgraded for the Sega Saturn. Don't think they no. It's still like a 2D kind of thing. So winner winner chicken dinner on that one as well. Because I hate it when they kind of. Do you know during the um, Sega Saturn PS1 era, when they updated things and they made things 3D, everything had to be 3D. Ooh, 3D, 32-bit 3D. Just leave it as it is, just upgrade the graphics a bit, make it look a bit shinier, bit newer, bit fresher, leave the 3D out. I think 3D spoiled a lot of games, so yeah. And the Sega Saturn does 2D beautifully, so glad to see that the um, old Bamman, ba Bamman, that was his brother, Bomberman stayed 2D. Great stuff. Um, next one up, Crypt Killer. Um, yeah, first person kind of dungeon crawler so it looks to anyway um looks quite fun and i've just realized that it is compatible with the um sega saturn gun what is it called the virtual gun because of virtual cop not sure i still haven't got one actually if anybody knows or has got 
a Sega Saturn Virtual Gun, go and cheat. Please get it to me because I would love one. Even though I haven't got a CRT telly yet at the moment to actually play one on. But a CRT telly is coming back soon into my household. So I will be playing some light gun games soon as well. So yeah, glad to find out that this was a light gun compatible. Is it called the Virtual Gun? Because it's got me thinking that. Whatever. Crypt Killer. First person dungeon crawling game. Yeah. One of a kind. Don't even know if that is the correct genre. I just made that genre up, so yeah. It can be whatever it likes. It's my video, and I call it a first person dungeon crawler, so no, 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 no. And now, a game that I am so happy to get. I've been after this game for ages, and I mean absolutely ages. And again, it's one of the more pricier titles on the um, Power Sega Saturn. Normally goes for about £30, £35 upwards. Plus your posters on top, so you could be playing, paying anywhere between um, 35 to 40 quid sometimes for this. And yeah, I basically bid it on an auction, it was really low. I just put in a cheeky bid, I was thinking, do you know, this will get out of bid, and it did get out of bid, but not by much. So I just upped my maximum bid and I waited for ages, and I never got out of bid on it, so yeah. Um, for under £20, I managed to get Lost Vikings 2. Again, it looks really dark, don't it? Can you see that? Don't know what's going on with the light in it. Try and shed some light. Whatever. Ooh. Doing a little Bossu 77 here. Light. Dark. Light. Dark. Sun. No son. <laughs> that really made me laugh when I was watching the video. Anyway, yeah, Lost Vikings 2. Loved Lost Vikings. I used to have it on the Super Nintendo. That was a great game. Also available for the Mega Drive. Basically the same game. I don't think there was any difference in it. Great game. It's like a puzzle game. Basically you get three um, Vikings and they all have special abilities. Like I think one can jump, one can float. I can't remember what the other one does. Does it attack? Enemies or something like that, I can't remember what the third one does, but it's basically like a puzzle game and you have to use each Viking, like the advantages of each Viking to get you through the level. So I'm hoping this plays like the first one, but like I said, I've been waiting to get this game for ages so I can play it um, and feature it in my Shocks and Saturn series as well. So yeah, and from the back, game screenshots. Again, you probably can't see them either, but it does look like they've kind of kept it 2D. Better graphics than the Super Nintendo by the looks of it, but they've kind of kept it 2D. So it looks like it kind of plays the same as the first game, which means it's going to be bloody awesome. Which I hope it is anyway. I hope it's not a stinker. I really hope it's not a stinker. Um, anything else to show you? No, I don't believe that's... I've got anything else to show you so yeah um, that's it guys thanks for watching that is my first pickup video for about three months um, yeah hope you enjoyed it um, please rate comment subscribe all the usual bollocks um, yeah and um, that's it oh follow me on Twitter at shock16 <laughs> Um, yeah, I've been Shock16, you've been great, thanks for watching, bye bye for now.